everybody, Boftis here, and welcome to my latest series of Crusader Kings 2, which, as I'm sure you can tell from the obviously witty and amazing title that I've thought of, because I haven't thought of it right now, I'm going to be playing as, once it loads, this guy, Despot Alexios of Trebizond of the Komnenoi dynasty. Now, if you don't know about the Kemno Komnenoi, I can't even pronounce the name, if you don't know about them, I'm going to have a really obvious plug here and suggest you watch my video, where I go through the life of Alexius I of the Komnenos dynasty, who seized control of the Byzantine Empire and basically sort of restored it and began the Komnenoi restoration. Um, it, it did pretty well until his grandchildren, I think, took over and then got deposed by the Angelos, who are not in power anymore. Oh, they control Thessalonica. So, um... Yeah, so I'm going to be playing as this guy, because I was going to play as the Latin Empire. I was actually about five minutes into recording when I realised this guy was here. I was just like, ooh, that would be more fun. Because obviously the Latin Empire, that was formed after the uh, sacking of Constantinople in the Fourth Crusade, which led to the... Because the, the Byzantine Empire was struggling. Well, let's be honest, it was struggling. But that was sort of not a good thing, to have your capital taken by your supposed allies who was supposedly on the way to fight your enemies, who stopped on the way, got bored, and, and ransacked your the, the mother of cities. So that happened. Um, so the Byzantine Empire currently doesn't control Constantinople. All these little successor fiefdoms and kingdoms have appeared. Um, Venice is doing Venice things, and there's Enrico Dondalo, who <laughs> some say would uh, had masterminded the... The, the debacle of the Fourth Crusade. That was his intention all along, but we never know. Um, and obviously the Sultanate of Rum. The Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. They call themselves Rum because they're just like, eh, we're going to be Rome now too. Everyone else is having a go. Because obviously it's Holy Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, which is Eastern Roman Empire. So they were, the, they styled themselves as the successors of Rome after these guys didn't really measure up. Obviously, that didn't go down well. So I'm going to play as this guy, the titular kingdom of Trebizond, which I don't think can be formed by either the AI or by a player by decision. So other titular kingdoms can be formed, like the, the, the Latin Empire for example, that can be formed. You have to be Catholic and control basically this land and you can form it. It costs some money and it gives you piety and prestige or something like that. Uh, but anyway, let's start. So I'm in a decent position. I've got just done just over four and a half thousand men. Um, I have a claim on the Byzantine Empire, which makes sense, because my grandfather was the guy, Manuel Comnenos. Isn't that the guy who had his... Ah, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. My history's a bit dodgy. Andronikos. Ah, yes. Poor Alexius II. Natural death. It was not natural. This guy, his successor, had him kill his own mother, and then had the boy killed to take over. That's that's not a nice guy. So it's not really a surprise when the Angelos took over after. Um, but it does mean that... Who was my uh, grandfather again? Andronikos. Oh, this guy, the guy who was a dick. Yeah, he's, he's my grandfather, so because of him, I have a claim. Which is pretty good. Now, it's a strong claim, so I don't need to cress it to this life. But, uh... It would be good to do. My heir is my, is my brother, which is eh, it's not too bad, but you know, I think my ambition is going to be not have a daughter, have a son, because that'll give me a fertility boost. And I'm going to go with hunting, because actually, will I? Am I going to? Yeah, I'm going to go with hunting. Hunting's a, at the moment very very good. So I have a ducal claim on quite a few bits of land. Oh, I randomly control bits of. Uh, Cherson, which is interesting. I could go to war with uh, this guy. He doesn't have much money. He's getting a lot of money, though. So I might be able to get that down fast enough to actually negate the fact he's going to be earning a fortune and can hire some mercs. But um, in terms of actual goals for this series, my, my main aim is to, well, reclaim the purple. That might be the title of my series. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. That's my. That's my. That's my objective. I'm gonna reclaim the Byzantine Empire, and 
destroy the Latin Empire. Because, oh, it could be cool to have both, to be honest. Not sure how to go about doing that, but that would be a nice little challenge to add to it. I mean, it's all going to be pretty difficult anyway, but whatever. Uh, so, I don't actually think the... This is, it is, it is, in this titular. So, eventually that will de jour drift. Um, Armenicon, not Trebizond, because I don't fully control it. The Sultan of Rum does. Rum being very powerful. I do not want to go to war with them right now. Um, does he hate me? He does hate me. Well, let's have a look. So, my best guy is this guy. No surprise there. I'm going to have him improve relations with Rum, because they have Holy War CVs on me. The other guys do not, so it's less likely they'll go to war with me. I'm going to have this guy improve training. I'm guessing he's the best. Yep. Uh, I have him give me gold. Is he really my best spy? No, this guy like this guy is better. So I'm going to have him... Where's the best place at the moment? Because obviously, Constantinople's been sacked, so surely a lot was lost. 21, 23, 21. 20... 22, 19. Yeah, it is. Constantinople is still pretty great. So, you can go over there. Oh, apparently not. I'm misclicking everything. And, does he need to convert? No, he doesn't. So, he can do that. So, I'm Orthodox, which is good, because that gives me Autocephalus Patriarchs. Uh, who's my religious head? Oh, it's the Ecumenical Patriarch. Because I am du jour part of the Byzantine Empire, my religious head is always going to be the Ecumenical Patriarch. If I was, say, the, I don't know, Orthodox King of Abyssinia, or Emperor of Abyssinia, I would have my own Orthocephalus Patriarch, who would basically do what I wanted him to do. So, whatever. Cool. Right, so, I have 4,000 odd men. This guy has more. So, not going to immediately press my claim, I don't think. That would not be wise. But what I will do is look for other places to expand. I can't really go with Cumania. That's too big at the moment. But I think I will go for uh, this little bit of land here. I think that would be beneficial for me. So, I'm going to do your claim Theodosia. Raise my vassals. None of them, apparently, being over there. Um... Kortchev. Why? Oh, he's... He's not He's not helping me. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to raise my fleet, my vassal fleet, because I need the money. I'm not going to use my actual fleets. God, no. And I'm going to embark everyone. Can everyone embark? Uh, yeah. Embark. This is quite a... Nice little setup here. I don't need to move anyone. Amazing. Right. Everyone uh, sail over there. Crusade for Andalusia. That is eh, not too bad. Would be more useful over here, to be honest. But what can you do? Everyone can drop off in Charson. Or Cherson. And they can be disbanded. And these guys can march over there. And I'm going to auto balance. And that's all. Oh, pulling. Oh, there we go. That's better. Now I can tell people what to do. So, immediately resign because I am terrible. My martial leaders are awful as well. That's not good. Uh, I'm going imp to increase centralization. I'm going to wait just a little bit. Just so I don't immediately lose to 100 men. Because that would be embarrassing. Now, while this is going on, I'm going to slow this down. Ah, he's already in a war. It's a Pisa and Gen Genoese trade war. Wonderful. Um, he has, he's bought 4,000 men. Where that, where's that come from? Is that from his mercs? I think that's from his mercs. No, from Domain. What? That's a bit, a bit of a surprise, but okay. As long as they come straight here and land next to me, I'll have the advantage because they'll take the disembarking penalty. Oh, marriage. Um, Prince of Jerusalem and heir to Cyprus. That would be beneficial. Oh, King of Armenia. Hmm. 
It is an interesting time period around here. Jihad for Sicily. Well, at least it's unified. Good luck. Oh, he's, he's in alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. He's going to be fine. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Improve relations with some guy. Oh, he's moved. That's why. What are you doing? Uh, you can be resigned because you're in the wrong place. And I can't be bothered waiting. Oh, he has turned up with his army. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to get there before there's a river. Oh, no, it's over there. That's fine. Um, so my, mo my generals are awful. I've become just. That is wonderful. Oh, no. Ah, no. He's already dropped them off. It's fine. So I've, Im I've captured... What? Oh, Patrician 2. Okay. For a minute, I did think that he was the head of two families, which wouldn't make any sense at all. But he's not, so it's fine. And I'm going to keep crushing this little force back and forth. And every bit of gold I can get from any captured guys is very useful. 69%. War score, wonderful. I've already started taking part of this county, so... There's no ticking war score against me. I've crushed his army. So I'd half expect him to uh, ask for a white piece about now. But then again, he's got too much to lose otherwise. If he'd attacked me, I'd imagine a white piece, a white piece attempt. But he hasn't. So ArmeniaCon is becoming part of du jour Trebizond, which is good. Nowhere else is, though. So that's a shame. Um... Oh, I accept this. Send it. Send it back. Quietly dispose of it. That's horrible. I will name it Faithful. Again, I'm sure there is a uh, a benefit to the names, and I do mean to look into them. Probably like Faithful Hunter and Tricky. I'm sure they give uh, they have a chance to give you extra learning, uh, intrigue, or martial. Just makes sense. Oh, they've dropped people off into Theodosia and were immediately killed. So it's left. It's come to get more. I'm gaining quite a bit of gold. This is fantastic. Good stuff. What's going on over here? Oh, defending against the Latin Empire. Uh, and also joining the Crusade. So he's done exactly what I was going to do as Latin Empire. Um, I was going to go to war with the Byzantines and... What have they done? Latin claim on Thessalonica. Oh no! He's gone for this guy down here. Oh, and he's joined in. Fair enough. See, I was going to go for the Byzantine Empire and press my claims for the Duchy of Thessalonica, which is a great... Not Thessalonica, Nikea. And Samos. You get both of them, and that would be amazing. But um, I opted to go for Trebizond instead. Oh, and they've dropped off more guys, and I'm killing them because of the disembarkation penalty. And it's 100%. Wonderful. What is that? It's an army of some sort. No, I was looking to see if it was a merc company. I just hope so. I'm basically just crushing them in the hope of getting some hostages. And he said back to Theodosia. Because I can end the war now. And I become ill. That's that's not good. That is not good at all. So anyone I can... Nope, I've got no prisoners. I will... End the war. This guy's my liege. I can revoke it, but people will hate me. Hmm, why is that? Obviously, I'm, I'm a tyrant, that's why. But, he's Italian and Catholic. I don't like that. Uh, that's not good. But this guy, why does he hate me? Too many health duchies. Oh, I've got the Duchy of Cherson. Of course I do. That's what I've just fought for. So if I give this guy the Duchy of Cherson, I have loads of bloody titles. Okay, yeah. So, I now have a Duke Vassal. Which some would say is not the best. But, whatever. Um, I control Trebizond, obviously. Paphlagonia. Where's Paphlagonia? Oh, there's Paphlagonia. Cool. Um, now, these guys there are currently... Oh, hello. They've lost a war. Well, they're in the middle of a war and they've lost lots of troops. Who are their allies? This guy is now a Vassal probably, of... No. 
Okay, he doesn't really like him. I'm going to do this. I'm going to claim the Byzantine Empire. Why not? I was going to go to your claim Heraclea, but I have a claim on the Empire, so I might as well. Wonderful. Let's do it. I have no troops. I have some troops. Uh, have them all grouped there. I'm getting a lot of money. Well, I might gain less now that I've uh, raised my troops, but still should be alright. Central uh, Centralization, which is good. March them over the border. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they're... Oh. They've just, got, they've just done a holy war. For Sibiriots down there. Go for it, man. I'll just sit up here, let you win your war, and then I'll claim the empire and get it all back. So, thank you. Wonderful. So, group this army. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if you noticed that, but there was suddenly nothing at the top here. Uh, I've improved relations with Seljuk. These guys, this guy. Which is good. Um, oh, there's an Abbasid. This is the Caliph. Ah. He's doing what I tried to do. Good for him. Right, okay, cool. So, um... So far, this series is going fairly well. I got a quick early war against this guy to claim Trebizond. Uh, to claim that. I'm no longer ill, which is good. That means I'm more likely to have a kid. Why does she, she does not like me at all? Who is she? Some random woman. Send gift. Now she likes me. I'll award honorary title. Hi, Almana. There we go. Now give me babies. I need some kids. Um, if I need to, I can I can expel borrow and borrow from the Jews and then expel them that could be worth doing this guy's what why am I hostile to this random bit of like oh it's a this this single Bishop Rick listens to the Emperor but not this Emperor it's a different Emperor and he's has he backed out of the war with uh no no he's still in it I think claim on Thessalonica he's a t it in it, while defending an ally, he made his own holy war, and then I've attacked him. So it's all going well. Uh, yeah, cool. So this is happening. Um, Trebizond is actually a really good start, to be honest. Um, I have expected to be a king for quite a bit longer. I, I'm saying this like I'm like I've already won. Something terrible could happen, but if I win this, I'll have gone from king to emperor in, in one episode. Which is kind of efficient, really. Think about it. Is this the Principality of Antioch down here? It is. Bayamond. One of the, one of the Bayamonds. Okay, so, uh... Hang on. Did my sister not marry? Or well, some relation of mine? Not marry, uh... Someone relate? Oh, no, she's dead. I'm sure there was some sort of marriage with... With Jerusalem. But apparently not. No, it wasn't even him. Thought she might have died or something. But okay. Well, um getting close to the end of this episode. I might actually I I went, I'm I'm not gonna win the war. It's it's too big of a war to win that quickly. But um I should be able to at least besiege this holding down. And that would be a, a good start to a series, to be honest. And I mean, then I'll be... I mean, I like this area at the moment, because obviously I've got this series on the go, and some of those armies. I've got this series on the go, and I've also got um, my Mesopotamia, my Nestorian playthrough, which is going quite well, in that I haven't been wiped out, so that's always positive. And I've obviously got this one, so... I. It's a very rich area, not in terms of financial, I suppose, but <laughs> not in terms of financially. Not in terms. Of, oh Christ! Uh, okay, okay. Um, I see you don't want to lose your empire. Where have all those troops come from, laddie? Hired? Hired? Are you fucking kidding? Um, 
How long? 19th of March. 20th of March. 24th of March. Uh, okay. Um, fleets? Fleets? Can the fleets help me? Uh, do I have an organizer in any of these? Nope. Okay. So, what was looking to be a very quick and easy war is about to get a bit tougher. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, next episode, I'm going to see if I can get out of this without losing my army. And I will see you then.